Taking care of others is a very special job. Essential to overall health and comfort is good oral health. Healthy teeth and gums enable a person to eat a variety of nutritious foods and speak clearly, which improves quality of life. Having an attractive smile and fresh breath boosts confidence and increases enjoyment of time spent with family and friends. You can make a difference by providing effective daily oral care. Poor oral health can lead to overall health concerns. Dental plaque is a sticky, colorless film of harmful bacteria and food particles that constantly form in the mouth. Plaque can lead to bad breath, cavities, and periodontal or gum disease. Cavities at any age can become painful and infected. Older adults are at increased risk for cavities on the root surface of their teeth due to receding gums. If plaque is not removed, it can harden into a deposit known as calculus or tartar. This can lead to an infection of the gums called gingivitis. Gums become red, inflamed, and bleed easily. If left untreated, it can progress to periodontitis. Gums can eventually recede and teeth become loose. Brushing teeth or chewing can injure gum tissue and allow bacteria in the mouth to enter the bloodstream. Research indicates that bacteria may travel to other parts of the body, worsening existing health problems or causing additional health concerns. In recent studies, gum disease has been linked to diabetes and possibly heart disease, stroke, pneumonia, and other respiratory diseases. Teeth should be brushed at least twice a day, with before bed being the most important time. Many residents can take care of their own teeth. Check on them regularly and remember that a resident's ability to maintain their own effective daily oral care may change. Proper positioning makes the job more comfortable for you and more effective for the resident. Be sure supplies are nearby and properly labeled. Toothettes are helpful in cleaning and massaging areas of the mouth without teeth but are not meant to replace a toothbrush for cleaning natural teeth. Lemon glycerin swabs should not be used because of their adverse effect on teeth and gums. Mouthwash does not replace brushing and flossing, but it can be used with residents who do not have chronic dry mouth and are able to spit. Put this on you here just so we don't get your... Drape the resident with a towel and keep a damp washcloth handy. Use a pea-sized amount of fluoride toothpaste on an appropriate sized soft bristled toothbrush. It's really important we clean around the gum line to get all the plaque off. When brushing natural teeth, use small circles with the brush at a 45 degree angle, concentrating on the gum line. Continue to brush even if bleeding occurs. See, I'm pulling that lip out of the way again, making sure we touch the gum. And your gums look really nice and healthy. There's no bleeding. For residents who have difficulty holding their mouth open, try using two large handled toothbrushes. They can also be used to hold the cheek to reduce the chance of being bitten. Use dental floss daily to remove plaque and food from between teeth. Slide floss up and down gently against the tooth and under the gum line. Floss each tooth with a clean section of floss. Other oral care aids are available to help remove plaque and food. Okay. Looks, oh, you have such yes. a pretty smile. And it feels so good. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. You did a great job. Mm -hmm. Partial dentures must be cleaned daily. 
Carefully remove the partial denture before cleaning the natural teeth. And we'll just set it over here in the container. Brush your gums and your gum line and your teeth. We want to make sure that your gums are nice and healthy. And let's just get those inside surfaces brushed the same way. Massaging the gums, I'm just angling the brush against the gum line to make sure that I'm getting all the plaque that likes to gather right around where the teeth and gums join. Brush all surfaces of the denture using a denture brush. The denture should be kept out of the mouth overnight, soaked in cool water in a denture cup. Carefully remove lower denture first. Then gently massage gum tissue with a soft toothbrush or toothette. Clean dentures using a denture brush and toothpaste or denture paste. A towel placed in the bottom of the sink will help prevent a denture from breaking if it's accidentally dropped. Be careful not to squeeze dentures. This could also cause damage. Dentures should be kept out of the mouth overnight and soaked in cool water in a denture cup. Commercial denture cleaning tablets can be beneficial, but don't replace brushing. Dentures should be labeled with the resident's name. Ideally, a permanent label should be added during the fabrication process. Residents who do not have natural teeth or dentures should have their mouths cleaned daily with a soft toothbrush or toothette. It is recommended that residents be examined by a dentist regularly. If you notice any unusual sores or discoloration on the gums or tissue inside the mouth that does not get better in a few weeks, inform the appropriate staff member. Let someone know if you see loose or broken dentures. They can be very uncomfortable and dangerous, affecting a person's ability to chew and speak. Medications can cause a resident to have a dry mouth. Drinking water or sucking on ice may help. If they use gum or candy, it needs to be sugar-free. Being able to eat a healthy diet speak clearly and feel good is important for everyone. You can help make this happen by providing effective daily oral care.